Only two things could get you through this, man. That's patience and persistence. We all aspire, we all have the same emotions. You know, no matter who you are, where you're from, we all have the same emotions. You know, we all want to be successful. You know, we all have the same fears of failure. We all have, you know, uh, you know, this uh, feelings of abandonment. We all, you know, want love. You have uh, such a strong belief in yourself that you can quiet out all the outside noise because that's, you're gonna need that on every step of the way. There are people that, that are projecting their fears and their um, shortcomings and failures on you. And you have to be very careful, you know, with that. People telling you can't do that. Why can't I? Because they may have tried or they don't believe that they can do it. And it's not really about you. It's about what they feel and their uh, fear inside. So you have to be strong enough and resilient to believe in whatever it is you're trying to do. My uncle, he was telling me, like, I'm never gonna, my uncle said I never sold a million records. I sold a million records like a million times. Are you crazy? How are you gonna do that? How? You know, I'm, I'm sure there's things that I do now that he, he can't believe that I was able to accomplish. But he couldn't even see it at the time. Mm. Yeah. So he was just projecting, putting his fears on me. That's how we on it. Love. Lock my body, can't trap my mind. Easily explain why we adapt to crime. I'd rather die enormous than live dormant. That's how we on it. And you gotta understand the reason, right? Why does that guy think like that? Right? How do, how do you arrive at that point? You gotta also look at that. You have to look at that. You gotta look at the environments and places we live in and how things are set up and how things are structured and how we're always the last on the totem pole, even from our school and to our roads to you know, everything that, we, that all the obstacles that's placed in front of us. Even our living condition, you live in a project, someone lives here, 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 and here. You know, you have to deal with all these different type of personalities. You have, you're in the box, someone's above you, below you, to the right of you, and to the left of you. And every day you have to manage that circle. So, live, that's like living dormant. Life is about balance, right? You have to have some type of balance. You have, like, time for, work and it's time for play and if you don't allow these two things to coexist you have an imbalance people look at you strange saying you change like you work that hard to stay the same like you're doing all this for a reason and what happens most of the time people change people change around you because they start treating you different because of your success so you are changing you don't change who you are the core of who you are the things you believe the things you love and the things you die for and your principles you don't change that but you're going to change who you are you're going to change you know you can't do the same things that you, you can't hang on the corner be true to yourself you know it sounds like a, a very simple thing to do but it's not it's not simple to do with all the pressures to succeed and all the pressures to, once you succeed, to stay there. You have a belief in yourself, and, some, and sometimes, in most cases, it's almost a naivete about who you are and what you can contribute to, um, to the game. Belief in oneself and knowing who you are, I mean, that's the foundation of everything great. Life is for your greatest good. No matter how difficult it seems at the time, everything is for your greatest good. It's just clearing you out so you can receive your blessings. Even the tough times, even the tough times is, is, is used for us to grow, for us to go through things. So when, when the good times come, we really appreciate it. But you gotta just believe everything is for your greatest good. And anything you want in life, you just gotta set your attention. When you set your, we that powerful, we're, we're, we're wrong. Every single person here, we're that powerful as human beings. If you set your intentions and you believe that shit with your whole soul, 100%, it's gonna happen for you, I promise you. And I'm not saying that because I read it in some book, I'm saying that because I'm standing on the stage tonight. I'm from the bottom, I'm from the mud, I'm from Marcy Projects, I'm from Bedford, Stuyvesant, Brooklyn, New York City. 
And I'm on this stage here tonight doing what I love to do in front of all these beautiful people. And that's because I set my attention. On my first album, I was saying, who's the best MC? Biggie, Jay-Z, and Ma. I was telling you, I was coming. It's the adventure trip, black, nigga, with the side of no fate, all that nigga with the... I said that.